Another brand is also incorporating Japanese aesthetics into denim design. Well, this place feels like 1968. <laughs> This company sells designs that are inspired by folk costumes. They might be costumes from anywhere around the world. Please take a look. Okay, let's take a walk around. In Japan, in samurai days, ordinary people wore cotton kimonos like this that had been patched and repatched. This would happen over and over again. That technique was the inspiration for these jackets. Oh, oh my god, yeah. This product line was launched in 2013. The design takes cues from garments called boro that farm workers in northern Japan wore to keep warm in a very harsh winter. People passed down boro through generations, patching them again and again to preserve every scrap of cotton cloth. A stitching pattern called sashiko overlays the patchwork. In around the year 2000, museums and the fashion world began hailing these garments as examples of utilitarian beauty. This brand has recreated the boro look more than 10 different painstaking processes of overlaying and distressing pieces of fabric are used to give each garment character. The concept has also been applied to denim, creating a new kind of Japanese-style vintage jeans. The denim also features a type of traditional French darning used to mend holes in workwear. No patches are used, only stitching. What the techniques have in common is an attitude that can be traced back to the old days. It's about getting long years of use out of something. We're taking cues from that attitude. We're seeking to reveal its hidden beauty. Spontaneous beauty always has the power to captivate. We're trying to approximate that. OK. Hmm. And the pink stitching here is kind of nice, too. No one down here, too, is... Oh, and it's actually on the back here as well. But, uh, what made you want to do this in the first place? Well, back in my father's day, here in Kojima, we were making jeans that were derived from American jeans. That was a starting point. I wanted to evolve beyond that and incorporate traditional Japanese techniques. You can see this in some of the items behind me. It's a step in a new direction. In fact, it's an evolutionary leap forward in denim but it's still a work in progress. Japan was at one end of the Silk Road extending from Europe right across Asia. But cotton actually has a much longer history in Japan than silk. Really? Cotton is deeply rooted in the way of life of the common people. I think denim and jeans draw on that tradition. In fact, I think denim and jeans are a very good fit for Japanese culture. And I think that helps to explain things. In Japan, when people wear denim, it somehow just feels right. Mm, that just feels right perception is what I'm aiming for in the new denim that I create. It's been really interesting. I had no idea that so many of the new ideas, new trends in denim had actually been born in Japan. Even with a brand new garment, people don't want to feel like they're wearing a mass-produced item. They are looking for something that expresses their individuality. That's a key requirement. As Japan went from poverty to prosperity, an emphasis on the consumer's individual taste took root. It varied from one person to the next. And it's fair to say that all these ways of processing genes 
are intended to fulfill that market demand. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>